technology is everywhere now. We've got houses full of phones, full of tablets, full of computers. Even babies are playing with iPads. And my own little girls, they used to beat me at so many computer games and they couldn't even read or write their own name. So kids are great with technology. Technology is also great for dyslexic people and it can really change things for them. I, myself, I can't imagine not having a spell checker now on my computer. I can't imagine having to write a letter and not having my spellings corrected and then having to send that letter out and feeling like I wouldn't be took seriously because there were so many spelling mistakes in it. So it really has changed things for me. But it can be hard knowing where to find this technology and how to use this technology. So what I've done is I've put a card in the Dyslexic Mum Kit, which is the assistive tech card. And this is to help to explain to you what technologies there are available and how to use these technologies. I've split it up into technologies that help reading and technologies that help writing, just to keep it simple. So for reading, most computers have accessibility settings and you can make changes to the computer screen. So maybe the child reads better if the background is a different colour and you can change the background colour now on the computer. This means that you don't have to buy coloured filters, the computer will just do it automatically. With the writing, there is the spell checker that I talked about, but there's also software that you can buy or download. And this software you will record the child speaking and it will turn their speech into words on the computer. So if they have trouble writing, it's a good way for them to get their ideas down. Now, there is so much technology and it changes all the time. So on the card, I haven't listed any actual names of technology or where to get it from because in a year's time it could be outdated and not used anymore so if you do want to find out more information about assisted tech then go to my website and i will have an up-to-date blog post about it with links to companies where you can get this software if you don't want to spend the money or you don't have the money to spend what you can do is you can go to your local library and they may have some of these technologies that you can lend or go to the child's school. They may already have invested in these technologies and the child can start to use them.